Yo, what it do, what it don't, what it is, what it is, and you already know what this is. This is what we're not saying. Magazine dedicated to shit that I'm into, Ziad. I'm your host, Things the Fireboy, aka Plentiful P, and this is another episode of Two Feet Bear Crabs. So, should we get into it, gang? Let's get into it. Alright, guys, as today we can't drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, because we're outside, so I'm just gonna flip it and show it like it's hot show it like it's hot let me show you what we got here today what do we have today today we have this nike air trainer one sb or nike sb air trainer one i'll give you a little look and it's in the colors of white gray black and chlorophyll green that's right you see that all right let's get into it we'll start at the sole look at that crop circle guys you know what i'm saying you leave that um demarcation in the field you know what i'm saying they might find you easily because there's not many of these but look at the crop circle on that look at that you know some really intricate delicate and fly so you have a white um white sole partitioned by this nice gray bit more white nice little bit of um partitionage right there on the gray and some white and of course you have the nice chlorophyll nike in green right there okay now this shoe was first released in 1987 i believe 1987 1989 and yeah it's a it's a classic do you know what i mean um not many people really rock the air trainer ones um but i think back in the days you know there was a few people rocking them um john McEnroe, i think this was his signature shoe originally um I don't want to say that wrong but I think it was um, I'm gonna d double check that up um, but yeah I think John McEnroe definitely was rocking these and obviously Bo Jackson we know that he was rocking the air trainers and um, for those of you that know about Bo Jackson I know my guy retro man you know about this shout out Liam he knows about them things anyway let's get back into it so midsole We've got that nice white midsole all the way round to sort of the three quarter of it and then you've got that sort of grayed um, coloration for the rest of the um, toe box right there not toe box for the rest of the sole right there and as you can see the sole it's broken up so look at that bit there broken up and then when you flip it round you see very different on that side and if you see that stops kind of at a weird bit so normally you'd kind of expect it to go all the way around maybe to there but it stops there so very interesting design you've got that suede panel right there which is risen you know kind of like your monarch waves but a bigger version right now you've got that suede panel right there and that is attached sorry and you have the um the velcro adjuster attached to that suede panel of course you've got that nice little white hit here you've got this nice soft suede here um it's nothing crazy but it is a soft suede i believe my hands are so cold but um it's definitely a suede so you've got that nice gray suede there which sort of follows round there on the back on the booty shall we say it houses that nice nike egg um in green that chlorophyll if you know your air max one chlorophyll patterns that nice green right there of course these came way before um let's move to the other side nice gray hitch right there you've got that nice um lever right there nothing crazy but pretty good lever you know for just a gr um nice little lever there and the suede hit again right there which houses the um the eyelet for the velcro strap if you see what i mean of course you have said velcro strap right here which says nike and you've got that nice undo twaka sort of um i don't know demarcation on there and that is very similar to um the um yeezy if you know because it was sort of based on a air trainer okay now let's look at the tongue very very nice you've got that nice sb tongue right there as you see nike sb and for those of you who don't know nike um sb is nike skateboarding and skateboarding was the range they created specifically for the skateboarders you know they got more padded hills right there as you can see you've got that nice padded hill right there and normally they have fatter tongues you know just for extra cushioning and so on this tongue is your regular tongue i would say but if you look at the mesh grooves on that that is pretty cool you know what i mean normally you just get a sort of flat tongue but you've got those nice grooves right there and of course like i said you've got your nike sb right there you've got your information and then you've got your size label in there i think i went for a size nine 
No, I went for a 10 and a half because it's an SB. Taking the insole out, of course you've got your black insole with Nike SB right there. You know what you're doing when you're doing what you're doing. There's your little um, insole right there. It comes with white laces, also comes with a spare set of laces. Spare set of black laces right there, as you can see. And yeah, that is really it, guys. Obviously, you've got the perforated toe box right there, which is fly, you know, a little bit of breathability. You know, this is a dope shoe. Like, it came out, not many people went for it. You know what I mean? Um, shout out my girl, Kez. Um, you know, she, she, she definitely copped a pair. I know my guy, Papa Dell's copped a pair. You know, it's not always about um, shoes that are you know hype 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 it's just about fly shit you know i always wanted these shoes when i was younger but i never had them and now man i finally got them i mean i picked these up i don't know when i picked these up over a year ago i'm sure but yeah man dope 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 so yeah guys this has been your nike air let me say that again this has been your nike sb air trainer one and yeah let me know your thoughts guys is this something you would rock crop circle crop circle is it your kind of style do you remember these from back in the day do you know what i mean what's your what's your what's your thoughts on these that's it and i guess yeah not much more to say other than that i've been your host p5 aka pick up another pair of crepes or pick up a penguin and this has been two feet bear crepes you already know this is once we are not saying magazine dedicated to shit that i'm into you guys are dope you guys are fly and as always you know i'm freezing my balls off for you guys well not always because i was doing this in the summer last time i'm just saying stuff anyway guys you know what to do leave your comments below i'm gonna catch you on the flip side stay fly stay dope peace